counted this money in three weeks, mama Another safe, another dollar, what you wanna eat? And when I counted, it better be to the letter Minus chain, a couple outings, and three Balenciaga sweaters Sing, sing, get me bread, get me bread, get me bread Sing, song, get me, get me bread Welcome to another episode of Fired Up with Kenny Crawford. We're going to be serving up a fresh, authentic Mexican dinner for you today. It's going to be hot, delicious, everything you can ever think about, mouth-watering. So let's get fired up and get it going. All right, so tonight we're gonna make a very delicious uh, entree for you with fajitas, which is a very traditional Spanish dish. It's delicious. You know, your traditional uh, fajitas got the uh, bell peppers, and I like green, green not so much, but the red and the orange and the yellow are really a lot more tasty. Of course, you know, sliced onions goes with everything, but with uh, the fajitas, great dish. Um, jalapenos, you know, fresh. You can't go wrong. I love fresh, hot things. I mean, hot and spicy, sweet and spicy is what I like. Sweet, spicy combinations of things, perfect. So diced uh, onions, some diced uh, jalapenos, some fresh, you know, tomatoes. I like really ripe tomatoes. Vine ripe is the best. Avocados, you know, really good source of, uh, of uh, good fats. And not to mention, I love guacamole. I love avocados. Really good for you and tastes great. Uh, putting them all together, putting some, make some pico de gallo, making some guacamole, doing the stir fry kind of method up to make up the fajitas um, with the bell peppers, the onions, the uh, fresh cut um, jalapenos, and the rotella um, to make up a really great di bunch of dishes that, you know, we're going to have a great fired up uh, meal. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm going to say easy peasy Japanese, put it together, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Lime squeezy. <laughs> Okay. Really simple ways uh, to put pico de gallo and guacamole, which are really good accompaniments to uh, fajitas, together really quick. We're using tomatoes, um, diced real nice, um, some more diced jalapenos, some diced onion, guacamole, uh, or avocado, sorry, lime juice, uh, some cilantro fine diced, um, and you know, garlic powder and garlic salt. Pepper, you know, use any spices that you have in your uh, in your spice rack. You know, you go looking around. Pretty much all these things are here, and right now is a great season for avocados and and produce, and it's being sold pretty cheap. So I'm gonna show you a really quick way to put all these ingredients together, and in order to make a great pico de gallo and a great guacamole. Mr. Jeffrey, let's go. Kenny's a cook. You're not Iron Chef, Kenny. He's getting better. He's getting better. Dude. I am my own chef. There you go. See, there you go. Something like that. <laughs> That'd be awesome on there, dude. Let's so, get ready to iron chef. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go for iron chef. <laughs> you know Fuck that guy, iron chef. You got, you got... Let's cook. <laughs> <laughs> that guy always does that. You know what I'm talking? Chefs, are you ready? Chefs, are you ready? Let's cook. <laughs> they always do it just like that. But I'm not, like, I'm, I think that's funny, but I mean, that's not me. But I can <laughs> I think it is you. <laughs> it is me? Yeah, it is you, dude. <laughs> All right. So, we've got the cookie. <laughs> Run with it. No, no, I'm not going to do that. But anyways, so we got the fresh ingredients. And uh, to make the guacamole, basically, I'm just going to push a little bit of the uh, diced uh, tomatoes in there. And I'm going to take... Uh, Kind of a little bit of those uh, diced onion, and depending how spicy you want it, the more uh, jalapenos. And then for the uh, pico de gallo, just a little bit of uh, the diced onion or jalapeno in there. Put the diced onions in there. Um, a little bit of cilantro in both of them for color. A little bit of spice in right there. I like garlic and garlic salt. I try to back up on the salt, and of course I like fresh pep peppercorn, and give that them both a little lemon lime squeezy, and basically finishes them off. Mix up these uh, really quick, 
Oh gosh. Just pico de gallo. I mean, simple, rich, delicious ingredients, a lot of color. And then when you make your little ensalada plate up uh, in the kitchen, you just put a little scoops real quick on the top. And uh, there you got a uh, real quick guacamole and pico de gallo. And so, of course, with avocados and tomatoes being very volatile uh, ingredients, you want to make sure to get them chilled. Uh, so we're going to get those off into the uh, refrigerator real quick. And uh, we're going to get started on making some uh, authentic Mexican rice, which uh, has a lot of great ingredients. And it just goes along with getting fired up. Fired up. It's getting proper. So we're back, fired up, Kenny Crawford. We have the authentic Mexican rice taken care of, delicious, already topped with cheddar and jack cheese, and we're about to cook up and fire up the uh, pan to get the uh, sauteed gr uh, grilled uh, green uh, peppers we got here with the onion and the red and the orange and some sauteed onions. So we're gonna throw those in there, get that popping, throw these uh, bell peppers in there, Get those going real good. Oh, gotta watch these pans and the lips on some of them. And then, of course, we're gonna remember our old ingredient, our ancient recite, uh, ancient Chinese secret, which is our Coca-Cola, which serves many purposes in the kitchen, amongst other than just you know having a little drink of the old nasty Coke every once in a while, cleans out the system, or maybe using it for uh, cleaning off the top of the battery. So. Uh, Anyways, it's uh, real good. Get those cooking off real nice and tasty. And add a little bit of seasoning in there. Oh my goodness. Stay, keep it simple, keep it fresh, keep it authentic, keep it fire, keep it popping. That's what Fire Up with Kitty Crawford's all about. Keeping it popping. Fresh ingredients. We got the uh, most interesting man in the world, uh, supposedly in the uh, house today. But where's Mr. Jeffrey? Mr. Jeffrey's got to be around here somewhere, you know, probably uh, drinking some sangrias or uh, doing one of his uh, uh, little mischievous things. So we got these fired up, cooking up. We'll come back, put up the uh, all the entree together, make it a delicious uh, entree with everything tied together, and uh, let's fire it up. Is a cranberry, muchas gracias, trapacana, and all together and we shake very fresh and we pour and whoa I love sangria wine see okay I, I, I can make now I can make now me llamo Mr. Jeffrey and I have to work all the time I'm, I'm with Kenny so uh, today we very thirsty so I make a sangria wine glass so um, this is red wine, of course, the, uh, the red wine come from many years ago, maybe uh, 200 BC, maybe the, uh, Spain or they, they take over by Rome. So uh, the Romans, they plant the vineyard and people, they're very thirsty, so they make sangria wine. So uh, they take the red wine, uh, the word, the, como se dice, the blood, sangria, the red wine is blood, the same meaning. So. Uh, they use a blood, the wine, and a lot of fresh uh, the fruit, a lot of fruit. Um, so we have a lot of juice and a lot of uh, natural fruit. Uh, only the organic, fresh from the earth. So we have uh, the wine, the juice. Let me see, orange juice. Uh, muchas gracias de Tropicana. Muchas gracias. So and now I take the wine, the Cabernet wine. It's good. It's good. So I take the wine, they open to the air. It's smelling good. I pour the wine. Hmm. All for me. No, no, no. <laughs> I pour the wine, the juice, maybe the orange, the orange juice, maybe.
saw maybe the three part wine, the one part juice. Mm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, nice. Now I take a uh, fruit, they very fresh. I have lime, I have this. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pineapple and orange. So, I take the fresh fruit. Moss, fresh fruit. Then mm. more juices. This is our uh, cranberry, which is gracias, tropical. Which is gracias. So I take the cranberry, the juice. Maybe the more fruit, the lime, very fresh lime. And the, the earth, the natural. Mm -hmm. So this is sangria wine. So normally, como se dice, they roll, they pour, they roll, but today we start. <laughs> so, wait, I have more juice. This is a pineapple with maybe just more tipo más. Get the mass. Very light. The yellow, the ice. Mm. And you pour the sangria wine. <laughs> So there you have it, a uh, simple, great, original, uh, authentic Mexican dinner uh, that Jeffrey and I put together for you um, with a lot of great ingredients, the grilled pepper, the grilled onions, the uh, grilled uh, chicken, the pico de gallo, the guacamole, all the ingredients that came together to make it a really great dish and a great meal for you and your family to enjoy. And we hope you come back and see us again. Thank you, Mr. Jeffrey, for making up that awesome sangria. Uh, you know, that's going to actually go with the, uh, the Mexican meal really great. You know, it came from, you know, the roots. Everything, bring it back to the roots, bring it right into your kitchen, right here from uh, Fired Up with Kenny Crawford. So thank you very much, Mr. Jeffrey, and come back and see us again. Guess who's coming to dinner? My favorite dish, just like that. Pulling Mr. flavor Jeffrey, off the spice rack. Same cumin habaneros with the bite back. It's just a good dude yeah. making good the food. Fire. Ready to get fired up with you. Oh, you can eat. Fired up. Yeah, with Kenny Crawford.